The long-awaited Kingdom Hearts series has launched on Steam. Whether you're a longtime fan or someone just stepping into this magical world, the age-old question arises again. Is there a Kingdom Hearts game you have to play first? While some fans have very strong opinions on this subject, our position is, no, there isn't a correct starting point. While we can suggest a play order for new fans to enjoy the whole story, and have, it's entirely up to you where you begin with the series. If, for example, you want to play Kingdom Hearts 3 first because it's the latest mainline game, or just because you're excited to pal around with Woody and Buzz Lightyear, then go for it. Remember, every Kingdom Hearts game is someone's first. Many lifelong fans didn't start with the original game. They played later ones and explored the rest of the series afterwards. However, it is a topic that comes up a lot. So the Square Enix team has put together a couple of suggested play orders, with the Dark Seeker Saga being the preferred order. So if you're starting fresh, these are some ways you can explore the series. So here's our rundown. Our first suggestion is to follow the story release order of Kingdom Hearts to experience what's known as the Dark Seeker Saga. You'll start with Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. This collection features six different titles and introduces the main characters and story of the Kingdom Hearts series. Kingdom Hearts Final Mix introduces you to the series protagonists, Sora, Riku, and Kairi. After their world becomes engulfed by darkness, you follow Sora's adventures with Donald Duck and Goofy after their fated encounter, while he searches for his friends. As they explore various Disney worlds and defend them from darkness, he learns what it means to wield the power of the Keyblade, and faces those who seek to take this power for themselves. After the events of Kingdom Hearts, we follow Sora, Donald Duck, and Goofy into Kingdom Hearts' free chain of memories, which introduces the sinister Organization 13 and features a unique battle system that utilizes the strategic power of cards. The next game in this collection that you'll want to play is Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, which introduces the fan favorite character, Roxas. We dive further into what is Kingdom Hearts and what Organization 13 wants with it. This is then followed by Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2 HD cutscene compilation, which chronicles the events between Chain of Memories and Kingdom Hearts 2, exploring who Roxas is and what Organization 13's true mission is. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix takes us back in time to before Sora's adventures begin and introduces the Keyblade War. We follow the adventure of three Keyblade wielders, Aqua, Ventus, and Terra, in their mission to locate the Master Xehanort. We are free to select which character story we would like to play first, with each of their stories intersecting at various points. We would like to suggest playing their stories in this order to understand the story best. Terra, Ventus, and Aqua. Completing all their story unlocks the final chapter. The second collection, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue, features three experiences which together set up the finale of the Dark Seeker Saga and connects the story to Kingdom Hearts 3. In Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Sora's quest to become a Keyblade Master puts him under threat like never before. While Kingdom Hearts Key Back Cover chronicles the story of the Foretellers that takes you way back in time to the earliest point in the series and has major implications for the saga as a whole. The collection ends with Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage, follows Keyblade wielder Aqua after the dramatic events of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. The Dark Seeker arc comes to its epic conclusion in Kingdom Hearts 3 and its Remind DLC, as Sora, Donald Duck, and Goofy race to foil the plans of the sinister Xehanort once and for all. Another way to enjoy the Kingdom Hearts series is to experience the adventures in chronological order. Here's the chronological playing order. Although Sora's original Kingdom Hearts adventure was the first game to be released, there are a few titles that are set earlier in the timeline. These prequel adventures do an amazing job at fleshing out the lore of the series, as well as introducing fascinating narrative threads that enrich the other games. By following the game's own internal timeline, you get to watch the pieces of the sprawling saga connect. It's very satisfying. The Kingdom Hearts games are now available on Steam, and the Steam-exclusive Keyblade, Dead of Night, will be available as part of Kingdom Hearts 3. The Kingdom Hearts games are also available now on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC via Epic Game Store. They're also playable on Nintendo Switch as cloud versions. We hope all this helped you if you're just setting off on your Kingdom Hearts journey. If so, you're in for a real treat. We hope you enjoy them. Until next time, may your heart be your guiding key.